Hi everybody, what's up? Simon Marshall here. <coughs> Today, we're here to do a DVD on, um, believe it or not, um, what I got from Amazon.com. Well, Stevie Breach, you got it, now you and I have it. It is WWE Presents OMG's Top Volume 2 Top 50 Incidents in WCW History. Mr. McMahon and Shane McMahon, the day they bought WCW from Ted Turner. So, here's to the back here. Okay, let's give you a close look. There's Goldberg, um, Ultimate Warrior, Rey Mysterio, and Eddie Guerrero. I'll read you the thing, okay? So, <clears throat> War brings out the best and the worst in two adversaries. WWF and WCW are no differences and during their epic battle both sides pulled out all the stops in their quest for sports entertainment solventary. In the countdown presentation see how WWE's most formable foe unleash every page in its creative playbook. WCW produced more OMGs, including moments that Chris Jericho allegedly, allegedly mastered holds, holds in over three hours of content feed from the vast WCW archives experience 50 of these classic moments, from shocking reveals to the Shockmaster transition trailblazers to expicable head scratches bowl parodies to boycott power bombs to all here in one nitro power set so packed with rare commenters from today's stars who enjoyed it to the big boys who lived it including Ric Flair, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall and all interviews from the Immortal Hall Kogan plus Received over a dozen moments that they aired with two discs, full batches, vintages, and more. Also including Blu-ray exclusives. So, let's show you what the discs look like. And, for purposes, I cannot show you the list of what's on this list, okay? So, here it is. Disc 1, OMG, that's black, and Disc 2. So, I'll, at least I'll just give you some matches and listings, okay? I have Starcade 1986, The Road Warriors vs. The Midnight Express, Capital Combat, um, actually let's take this thing out, okay, I'll put the disc back in, so I can read it better, so, Capital Combat, The Return of Robocop, Halloween Havoc, uh, Chamber of Horrors Match, Sting, El Gigante slash Giant Gonzalez, the Steiner Brothers versus Big Van Vader, Diamond Stud, Scott Hall, Cactus Jack, and Abdullah the Butcher. The WCW Saturday Night Super Grudge Match, Cactus Jack versus Big Van Vader for the WCW Heavyweight Title. And then Dustin Reynolds, aka Gold Dust, versus. Blacktop Bully, a.k.a. Barry Darcel, who was Demolition Smash slash The Repo Man, The Blacktop Bully. Halloween Havoc, Sumo Monster Truck Match, Hulk Hogan vs. The Big Show, Paul White, a.k.a. The Giant for the Heavyweight Title, then Nitro, Scott Hall appeared on Monday Night, and then The Great American Bash, Eric Bischoff, has words for the outsiders, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Bash at the Beach, Disc 2 now, okay? Kevin Nash, Scott Hall versus Stain, Lex Luger, and the Macho Man, Randy Savage. That's where, who was the third man? It was Hulk Hogan. Uncensored. Stain chooses WCW. And a Nitro, La Parca versus Macho Man, Randy Savage. Oh, yeah! A.K.A. Diamond Dallas Page. Nitro, the NWO, does a harsh parody of the Four Horsemen. That was just 
freaking harsh. I don't like that. But I'm glad DX got revenge on them during the Attitude Era, you know. That was good. That You know, they were... They had some bad, heated words by the WWF. The Nitro, the heavyweight title, Goldberg versus Hulk Hogan on Nitro. Chucky, the doll from the Child's Play, the Bride of Chucky, the Seed of Chucky, interrupts Rick Steiner on Monday Nitro. Goldberg spears Bret Hart in Toronto. Vince Rousseau hits the reset button, strips all the titles. The Human Torch match, the Great American Batch, Steve versus Vampiro, The Bash, um, Jeff Jarrett versus Kevin Nash, then New Blood, Buff Bagwell versus Canyon, that's it, Pacific Coliseum, the PNE form in Vancouver, British Columbia, um, Nitro, Steel Cage match in Long Island. New York. Booker T versus Vince Rousseau and then finally the San Francisco 49ers match for the World Heavyweight title where there was four boxes on the corner. Booker T versus Jeff Jarrett. Now Blu-ray exclusives. The Cruiserweight Battle Royal. Slambury. Winner faces Chris Jericho for the Cruiserweight title. Bash at the Beach. The Junkyard individual match and on Monday Nitro the Peñata on the pool match Silver King versus Juventud El Dante Psychosis and Villano I think that's super crazy Slambury the world heavyweight title David Arquette versus DDP versus Jeff Jarrett and then finally Fall Brawl Lance Storm versus General Reaction for the United States title so yeah, the documentary was pretty wild. It was pretty awesome, cause I like the top two. The top two is the WWE purchases WCW, and number one, who's the third man? You know, did you guys know that um, back in uh, 1995 and 96, Hulk Hogan had a long, long talk with Ted Turner and Eric Bischoff, like. Okay, what can we do that's never ever happened in wrestling history? And he goes, nothing. There's nothing we could do now. And then he realizes they were, he was receiving a lot of booze from WCW Universe because, well, he was from up north. He worked with the WWE, the New York area. So Bischoff said to Hulk Hogan, how about you being the bad guy? And then he goes, I don't know. Can we get out alive? And it was brilliant. It was awesome. Once he became a real bad guy with the Outsiders, and then he started turning his back against his brother, his friend, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Oh, yeah! Right at Bash at the Beach. And it was brilliant. This is my all, all-time favorite factions. The top three factions in wrestling history are the Four Horsemen, number one. Number two, DX. Number three, the New World Order of Wrestling. So those are my favorite factions in wrestling history because of, you know, WCW and WWE. So I just want to say it's good to be back at YouTube. So this is Simon Marshall saying um, thanks for watching. I'm out.